liver fibrosis stages and symptoms liver fibrosis occurs when repetitive or long lasting injury or inflammation causes excessive amounts of scar tissue to build up in the organ most types of chronic liver disease can eventually cause fibrosis unlike healthy liver cells scar tissue cells cannot self repair or otherwise function as a result of this fibrosis can reduce overall liver function and impair the organ's ability to regenerate scar tissue from fibrosis can also block or limit the flow of blood within the liver this can stir and eventually kill healthy liver cells creating more scar tissue in the process treatment tends to involve clearing infections making lifestyle changes and taking certain medications this can often reverse the damage of mild to moderate liver fibrosis if inflammation continues possibly because a person has not received treatment liver fibrosis can develop into more serious liver conditions in this video we will discuss the symptoms of liver fibrosis how doctors measure the extent of damage how symptoms change over time stages if a doctor believes that someone has liver fibrosis they will carefully collect a small tissue sample or biopsy from the liver using a large needle a pathologist which is a doctor who specializes in finding the root cause of disease will then examine the sample under a microscope they do this to assess the extent and type of damage determining the degree of fibrosis is difficult because pathologists only have a small sample to work with other doctors can also assess the sample same sample in different ways healthcare providers can use several scales to define the stages of fibrosis this include the metavir ishak and burt's ludwig scales this and similar scoring systems take into account the effect that the fibrosis has had has had on the portal vein which delivers blood from the intestines to the liver many scales also measure the extent of fibrosis and the location of location or number of septa which are fibrous bands of tissue in the biopsy sample the metavir scoring system rates the progression of fibrosis on a scale from a0 to a3 a0 no activity a1 mild activity a2 moderate activity a3 severe activity the metavir system also scores the level of fibrosis from f0 to f3 f0 an absence of fibrosis f1 portal fibrosis with no septa f2 portal fibrosis with infrequent septa f3 numerous septa but no cirrhosis f4 cirrhosis cirrhosis is scar tissue building up in the liver this can occur due to unchecked fibrosis the most advanced type of fibrosis someone can have before developing cirrhosis according to the metavir system is stage a3 f3 the ishak fibrosis scoring system is more complex and it typically runs from 0 to 6 0 an absence of fibrosis 1 an expansion of some portal areas possibly with short fibrous septa 2 an expansion of most portal areas possibly with short fibrous septa 3 an expansion of portal areas with sporadic portal to portal bridging 4 an expansion of portal 
areas with significant portal to portal and portal to central bridging 5 significant portal to portal and portal to central bridging with sporadic nodules 6 likely to de definite cirrhosis using the ishak scale the most advanced stage of fibrosis a person can have before developing cirrhosis is stage 5 the birds ludwig scale common in the united states is slightly simpler this scale runs from 0 to 4 0 a lack of fibrosis 1 portal fibrosis 2 rear portal to portal septa 3 fibrous septa 4 definite or likely cirrhosis using the birds ludwig scale the most advanced stage of fibrosis a person can have before developing cirrhosis is stage 3. Symptoms People with fibrosis are usually unaware that they have it. This is because it rarely causes any obvious symptoms. However, within the liver, liver Fibrosis can reduce overall function, including the purifying of blood, storing of energy, and clearing of infections. Limit the organ's ability to regenerate. Restrict blood flow within the organ. People usually start to experience symptoms when fibrosis progresses to cirrhosis. These initial symptoms can vary. But some of the most common indicators of early cirrhosis include a poor appetite, feeling weak, unexplained exhaustion, unexplained weight loss, nausea and vomiting, discomfort or mild pain in the upper right abdomen. Some common signs of more advanced cirrhosis include a tendency to bruise or bleed easily, edema or fluid retention in the lower legs, ankles or feet, jaundice which is a yellowing of the skin and eyes, ascites or abdominal blotting from a buildup of fluid, very itchy skin, increased sensitivity to medications and their side effects. Problems with certain cognitive functions such as memory, concentration or sleeping, a darkening of the urine.